Even the residents of Mangum will tell you the town isn't exactly famous. John Mitchell was born and raised here and now works at the old Greer County Museum. Mangum is not a town you've ever heard of. In all the years I spent in Virginia, nobody had ever heard of the place, of course. But there is something pretty special in Mangum. We have the light bulb. And someone says a light bulb? Well, that's true, but it's not just a... It was a long time ago that this light bulb was turned on, and it's been here all these years. It's still burning. Wayne Vaughn is executive director of the Greer County Chamber of Commerce, and the light bulb he's talking about is one of the world's few remaining Methuselah bulbs, a light that keeps burning long after others have given up the ghost. In fact, only three other bulbs in the world report a longer lifespan. The mangum bulb which is hardwired in place with no on or off switch, is located here on the second floor of the firehouse. Fred Willis is the chief of the Mangum Fire Department. Just kind of an icon here. Uh, we have several visitors come in throughout the year. Uh, want to see the bulb. Goodness, we've had from California to New York come through. Chief Willis admits no one is entirely certain of exactly how long the bulb has been here. As far as we can tell, uh, it's been burning since 1927. Officially, it's believed the bulb went into service sometime between 1926 and 1929. That means it's been burning almost continuously for more than 80 years. How is it possible that this bulb has been burning for so long when modern incandescent bulbs seem to flicker out? almost as soon as they're installed. Was it planned obsolescence? In the 1920s, light bulbs lasted 2,500 hours. Today, they last only 1,000 hours. What happened? A secret cartel was set up in 1924. Its goal, to reduce the lifespan of light bulbs to 1,000 hours. They time those things. They time them. So when you finally pay for them, they're used to them. It could be a conspiracy, couldn't it? I mean, you know, what can I say? As long as this was here, um, I guess they wouldn't be able to make much money if they, if they lasted forever. I'd like to have one. But was it really a conspiracy? John Fagan is a professor of electrical engineering at the University of Oklahoma. He doesn't believe there was anything quite so sinister as a plot to spur the sale of light bulbs by limiting their lifespan. Yeah, they lasted a long time because in the old days, all bulbs were over-designed. They were designed just like this one, which means this bulb could really probably operate on 200 volts and give you lots of light. But they didn't. They operated on 110 volts. And that, according to Dr. Fagan, is part of the secret to their long life. This was the key with the early light bulbs, is that the resistance of these bulbs was such that they didn't operate very bright. I mean, any of these Methuselah light bulbs that you see, they're not very bright, are they? In fact, they were never very bright. Okay, that's as good as it got. As for the mangum bulb, Dr. Fagan says it was probably a combination of elements in which the seals were just right, the bulb cooled perfectly, and there were no imperfections in the filament. So how much longer can we expect it to burn? Once it gets past a certain age, okay, then you can expect it to last a whole lot longer. I would expect that, that mangum light bulb to be around probably another, you know, 50 years, okay, because it's already proven it's reliable. Residents of Mangum hope their iconic light bulb will continue its long life, but really, any claim to fame is welcome. I, I can't really think of anything else except Ruth Davis came from here. It used to be on Petticoat Junction. <laughs> Meanwhile, about once a week, someone will still come through Mangum and ask to see the bulb. It makes me proud to, when somebody comes by to visit and they want to see the, the light bulb and get to tell them about it. And it just makes you feel good. The bulb has its own website. But Chief Willis says if you're ever in Mangum, feel free to stop by. They'll be happy to let you see it for yourself.